On this day, 35 years ago, two central Indiana disc jockeys got engaged live on the air. They were fired, though, that very same day. WRTV recently checked in with former WZPL hosts Steve and Mel, who are still laughing about the memorable moment they call Genius Radio. WZPL with Steve Stiles and Melody Arnold. It happened fast. On the new news, it was Steve and Mel are getting married. And on the 5 o'clock news, it was Stephen Miller fired. But why? You never ask why in radio. Yeah. WZPL's Stephen Mel and the Morning Music Crew show ended just a year after it began. And during that time, the duo did something pretty remarkable. They took their show from 8th or 9th in the market all the way to number 2. Right behind Bob and Tom, uh, you know, nipping, nipping at the heels. Because it was just counter-programming. Counter-programming Stephen Stiles sought for years. I really, really wanted to get a female co-host because the strong females were just just starting to appear in the radio dial. Styles found that strong female voice in Melody Owen, who first appeared on the broadcast during news updates. He kept interrupting my newscast. That's I'd be true. reading. And it, it was a top 40 radio station. You no, know, it was so rude. So rude. What? I was in the middle of reading a story and he'd interrupt and he'd go, it, it, what? It was obvious from the minute Melody opened her mouth that uh, she was a co-host. Melody left the newsroom and joined Steve in the booth as the show's co-host, but it was hardly love at first sight. This is part of the story that nobody knows. Melody says she was told Steve was gay because his roommate was also gay. I didn't know, okay? So I just thought he was. But a confrontation changed everything. And he started yelling at me and he said, you know, you just think you can walk down the hall like that in that dress? and walk like that and everybody's just gonna fall over and you're not even my type. Melody says a co-worker witnessed the exchange and chimed in, telling Melody this. Mel, I think he likes you. I'm like, well, that's ridiculous, Jeff, because Steve is gay. And he goes, what? And I said, Steve's gay. And he goes, oh my God. And then he starts laughing hysterically and goes, why do you think that? And I'm like, well, that's what everybody told me. And he's like, oh, Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, Mel. No, 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 no. And with that out of the way. It got tight pretty quick. We started going to all the events together. You become a team and then you do have to your sleep schedules are different than human sleep schedules. Yes. Things were clicking on and off the air, but not everyone was happy. We knew that there was so much friction inside that things were coming to a head. We know where we were. We weren't sure where some of the powers that be were at the station were. A couple says some station managers weren't thrilled about having a woman with such a prominent role in the show. To have that sort of strong feminine voice in a studio. And I let her. I, I, I did everything I could as a, as a host co-host to say, you know, we're equal pieces. And on July 13th, 1988. I, I think you should marry me. I think that's, uh, <laughs> I think we should get married. I, I really do. I'm not. <laughs> are, are you serious here? Mm, I'm, I am Steve, serious. Steve, we're on, we're on the air. Well, this, I understand that. Stephen. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> I, I would be honored to marry you. Wow! Yes. It was brilliant. It was that, genius radio. It really was. That, and that should have been a good thing. But station management didn't want the publicity and parted ways with the couple. They just exploded in their faces. Local listeners and even other celebrities were in disbelief. Of course, Bob and Tom didn't believe it. We didn't believe it. But seeing is believing. We were the first couple to ever get married at Park Tudor High School. Happily married, Steve and Mel now call Southern California home. They know their exit from the radio industry is now the stuff of legends. You can't top that, all right? And then why do you blow it up? N nobody's that stupid. And I wanted to go, yes, yes they yes, are. Yes, they are. Megan Shen, WRTV.